Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is Astro Tripper. This game normally retails for $5, but I got it as part of the Indie Royale April Fool's Bundle. Astro Tripper comes to us from Pom Pom, and it is billed as an evolution of their 2001 shooter Space Tripper. I've never played Space Tripper, so I'll take their word on that. If the name Pom Pom sounds familiar, it's because they were also the creator of our previous game we played this week, Alien Zombie Megadeth. And indeed, the same engine and interface are used in Astro Tripper, and I think that's a great thing because it means that they can concentrate on creating the gameplay itself as opposed to fussing with an engine. This display options menu should look familiar to you as it is the same menu that was used in Alien Zombie Megadeth. Again, nothing wrong with that. I think it's a good thing. It means that they can, they can concentrate on asset creation and game creation as opposed to fiddling around with the engine. So Astro Tripper, what's it all about? It is a side-scrolling shooter, but it's contained in a small arena, and instead of being a continuous scroll to the right, you can go left or right within that arena. Uh, it reminded me actually a bit of Defender, the classic of the genre, and it uh, has a lot in common with Defender, I think. Uh, as you begin to play it, you'll, you'll kind of see what's going on, and uh, you may be able to draw comparisons to other classic shoot-em-up games. And uh, really, there's no reason to delay. Let's just get into the action here. Uh, there is a challenge and an adventure mode we're gonna go in adventure mode uh, the challenge mode just gives you uh, a certain amount of time to kill a certain amount of enemies stuff like that uh, the adventure game is sort of a progressive story uh, lo loose there is really no story you are spaceman you shoot alien that's pretty much it but uh, there's at least a progression going on and so let's get into it I have not beat the training grounds and I am not ashamed of that this game is rather difficult at least for me and uh, yeah no shame there training grounds so we have easy, we have hard, and we have hardest. Uh, I would imagine to get hardest, you have to beat the game on hard, which then makes hard medium, but really that's neither here nor there. So uh, I'm not going to play on easy because, frankly, it would be somewhat embarrassing. <laughs> when you play on easy, they put rails up that prevent you from falling off the level, and I would kind of feel like that six-year-old kid who's taken to the bowling alley for the first time, and they put the rails up so that he can't roll a gutter ball. Yeah, and for a man of my age, that would just be... Well, embarrassing. So let's play on hard. Let's do it. Training grounds, level one, nice and easy. Here we go. So as we pop into the game, you will notice it's a nice, colorful interface. You know, the graphics are not high-end, super high-end. They are 3D, uh, but they are more in line with something you might see on an iOS device, uh, mobile device. But really, they are adequate. They do the job, and I don't have any any problem with it. I think they're colorful and they're pretty, and uh, I'm really not going to give them a knock for, for not having absolute state-of-the-art graphics. Whoa, these guys be trying to shoot me. All right. So you can see I can move from left to right, and the main mechanic that you're going to have to get accustomed to in this game is turning your ship to the left or to the right. Now at first that's clunky, if I'm totally honest, and it feels unnatural, but the more you play this game, the more it becomes absolutely intuitive, and uh, after a short time of playing, I wouldn't have it any other way. I think the, the control method works so well uh, for the way that this game works. Uh, you can see me firing my lasers, my blue laser here that fires out at an incredible rate of speed until it doesn't. You actually have to uh, charge your laser, so you have to stop shooting for a moment. Uh, I'm probably going to die a lot because, frankly, when you talk and play, you're not nearly as concentrated as you should be. But you can see my laser here. It does slow after a while. That's their mechanic that keeps you from just constantly spamming it. You know, it's a, it's a very gamey sort of mechanic, but uh, I don't mind it in the long run. Now you do have a secondary weapon, it's this right here. I find that weapon to be of little use. Uh, I, I can understand when you're supposed to use it, but I just stick with the, the standard laser and I think I, um, I, I have a better game because of it. You know, I, I play better. Wow, I backed right into that bullet. I think I play better because I am just sticking with the standard uh, straightforward laser cannon as opposed to trying to switch. I'm sure that high-end elite Astro Trooper players uh, would, you know, know exactly when they need to switch between what weapon, but uh, I'm just lucky to beat a level, so <laughs> I'm not going to try to uh, get too fancy with it. So you do see I am getting power-ups on occasion for my gun, bonuses, I'm building up uh, combos. The comboing system, or the multiplier system, is nearly identical to the one that was present in Alien Zombie Megadeth as I fall off the level. 
<sighs> All right, let's just get right back into that same level so I can continue showing you the ins and outs of this game. Level one, nice and easy. Oh, oh, really? Oh, really? So here we go. Let's try to actually beat it this time around. Uh, you will notice that uh, these little orange guys, see how they're pulsating? They will eventually evolve, yes, into these uh, space starfish. And they move a lot faster, and they are just a lot meaner in general. So the idea here is to kill those guys as fast as you can. Uh, sort of in the upper middle of the screen, you will see I have a map, and that map is indicating to me where the enemies are located. And that is useful, and it becomes very, very useful uh, at times. So, you know, there was a perfect opportunity to use that uh, secondary weapon. Again, you know, I, I just it just doesn't feel good to me. It feels clunky. It, it feels, you know, like I have to find a time to use it. Like right there, here's a time to use it. But then I'm not able to stay straight and in line. Maybe later on that weapon becomes more useful, but right now I just, I just have a hard time utilizing it. Wow, that guy spawned in right on top of me. I have a hard time ut utilizing that weapon in an effective manner. So, uh, yeah, you're pretty much seeing my f the frustration, which is my time playing Astro Tripper. Uh, I've made it decently far, I think, to the third level where you fight a boss. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just... I don't know. The, the game, the controls well. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm, I just kind of suck at it. And uh, that's going to happen from time to time, you know. And that's one of the things that I'm trying to learn uh, as someone who makes videos about games is not to just say, well, I wasn't good at this game, therefore, this game is bad. Uh, because that's not the case. Me not being uh, skilled at it doesn't mean that it's a bad game. And uh, I think if you like shooters, th this is a game that you would play and you would probably enjoy. And it does give you something a little different because it is giving you that um, more arena style where you do have to uh, manage your facing and all that stuff. And and I mean, I have a good time playing the game. Yes, it is frustrating. It is very frustrating at times uh, to, to be doing something that you're not good at. I mean, nobody likes to really do things that they're not good at, right? Um, but in the context of what I do here on the YouTube, uh, I do very frequently have to try to do things which I don't excel at. And uh, this is definitely one of those times. Uh, the game itself, super solid. Uh, I really like it. I think the graphics are uh, where they need to be. Yes, they could be better. Oh, there we go. We actually finished the first level. Yay, joy. Um, you know, the game itself is a solid shooter. Here we introduce the concept of elevation for the first time. Uh, that comes into play uh, very frequently, it would seem, in future levels. And the main thing about elevation is I can't shoot all the way down. You know, it really treats it like an incline. Uh, well, it is an incline. <laughs> and uh, it functions that way. So it, it works as you would imagine it would work. Whoa, bonus. Uh, I do have one complaint in the, that sometimes power-ups are hard to distinguish uh, between a power-up and an enemy. Uh, that doesn't happen very frequently, but there have been times where I've moved forward to pick up what I thought was a power-up, only to be killed by an enemy. So, yeah, I'm going to go down here. Die. Now, these are sort of like mini-bosses. They have little homing lasers. Yee, homing globules that they shoot at you. All right, die, cactus, die. All right, we've defeated the space cactus. All is well. And we are going to play just a little bit more Astro Tripper, and we are going to call it a day. If I had to give a verdict all in all, uh, you know, uh, sum it up on this game, it is a competent uh, side-scrolling shooter. I don't have any, uh, any major complaints. I think it uh, excels in... Uh, in gameplay, it feels really smooth. The uh, native support of the controller is good. After you get accustomed to the turning of your ship, uh, it actually becomes very intuitive and feels very, very nice. Oh, I got a feeling that I'm going to be getting some trouble here. There we go. Away, away, thank you. And all in all, I give the game a big thumbs up. I mean, it is uh, absolutely not the best shoot 'em up game I've ever played, but. It is competent, it is adequate, and it is enjoyable. So if you purchased the Indie Royale April Fool's Bundle, you own this game, and I think you should give it a try. It is a fun game, and I have game over, so we are going to call it quits. Astro Trooper folks, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, check it out. The Indie Royale may still be going on for just a few more hours as of the posting of this video. If you missed it, uh, I may be giving away... 
some games from this bundle. We shall see. Keep your fingers crossed. I have a giant stack of bundle of games that I need to give away, including some of your uh, Indie Gala 2 bundles, which I actually didn't realize I had. So uh, look in the next couple of weeks for some giveaways. As I said, April is going to sort of be giveaway month. So uh, keep your peepers peeled, and uh, hopefully you will win some free games from me, Big Dave. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.